Thank you for making the time to watch this video. In the past year, we saw a number of changes, including the election of a new president in the United States. In another part of the world, there was a large-scale demonetization of currency. This year will surely bring with it a set of changes that will impact all of us. Changes like these will only continue to show us that we are more connected than we think. Even regulatory agencies are pushing for change as open banking initiatives continue to receive support from regulators and governments alike. PSD2 in Europe and UPI in India are a couple of examples. The day is not far when consumers will expect to access all of their accounts via a single user-friendly interface or want more control over their data and providers. The number of third-party players competing for a piece of the business is also increasing at a dramatic pace. Meanwhile, banks are not standing still. In the coming year, many progressive banks will no longer wait for a regulatory push and will focus on extending their reach and power using open APIs. While the sum of these changes can feel chaotic, there are four invariants in this changing landscape which are worth noting. One, connected solutions are able to create value in new and interesting ways. Two, mobile native populations expect services anytime, anywhere. Three, agile providers are able to fail fast and rapidly find profitable products and models. And four, personalized services are starting to replace one size fits all services. When we put the four elements together, we can clearly see banking technology trending toward a connected, mobile native, agile, and personalized future. Pursuing such a future requires a clear strategy to virtualize financial services using open APIs and to make them available in a marketplace. Such an approach enables many winners. Certainly consumers win with the power to choose relevant products, appropriate providers, and feel more in control of their financial decisions. Financial institutions win by focusing on best-in-class services either from their own portfolio or by leveraging a marketplace of providers. That same marketplace can offer an interesting way for the institution to extend its reach without incurring the costs of new market development. Third-party providers can find a wider market for their product while being more informed and targeted in their pursuit. Regulators, in turn, will have more direct access to banking data in real time and be able to increase investor confidence. Above all, by focusing on their trusted relationship, banks and financial institutions are in a unique position to be able to synthesize and help the customer derive meaning from the changing landscape. At Finical, we enable our customers to create winning financial connections. We believe that the future of banking lies in a connected ecosystem of financial and non-financial services. So the next time you hear, oh, there's an app for that, perhaps the question that we should be asking is, is there an API for that? Thank you again for your time. and Please allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy new year.